most Italians here, I was slightly unprepared by the by the cold temperatures of the past few days. So if my if I amplify my cough through the microphone, I have warned you. Um, so I don't think Pepe needs a really much of an introduction. Um, I assume you all know, I mean, he is one of the most renowned Italian journalists um, worldwide. He's written for the Corriere da Sera, The Economist, The Giornale, and of course, probably the most important newspaper of all, which is Gazzetta dello Sport. But I, I will, instead of boring you with this long life, I've decided to um, talk about three things in particular that I doubt many of you know about. So, um, the first uh, view into from my aunt fans here so, is that he's written four books on FC Inter. Um, those of you who know me will know I'm very fond of these books. Um, the second thing is that he's an officer for the Order of the British Empire. Uh, and apparently the only Italian to have such a title, or at least that is what I read on Yahoo Answers. <laughs> the, uh, so, the third thing is that he's, member, he's a player for the Osvaldo Soriano football team, which is the national football team of writers. Um, some of you may ask who these guys play against. The answer of which is the national football team of comic book writers. <laughs> and the national parliamentary football team, which I agree is quite worrying we have. Um, so I'm very pleased to welcome Ben this evening on a subject that I think uh, many of us, and especially our foreign friends, are very interested about. Um, I think uh, many Italians are always asked, you know, why are going to explain this this bird is going phenomenon to us, and I think most of us have just resolved to answering his bird is So, um, uh, without further ado, uh, Beppe, welcome, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Beppe Sidney. Thank you, Thank you I want to read tonight, and you'll understand why. First of all, thank you to the to Nicolò and to the Italian Society LSC. I'm, I'm proud and happy and a little embarrassed. Too many people, and some people had to leave, and some were not too happy about coming here all the way in the rain, not be able to sit. You're smiling. They were not, I tell you. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you for mentioning all my newspapers and everything else, and, uh, and the OBE. But you see, OBE, in Italian, uh, it's OBE. So it's not too important. And then they give it to Beckham. So it's <laughs> No. Um, on uh, February 4th, uh, 2010, it was a Thursday, same time, we were, some of us, were in room D202 here at the LSE, London School of Economics and Political Science. And um, I was asked to talk about a, an Italian subject, and I, I was kind of struggling, that's the word, struggling, combattendo, with uh, the idea of a book about Berlusconi. It, uh, in a way, I've written a long book about the Italian that started 20 years ago, with Inglesi, my very first book, uh, here in London, I was young, my 
hair was like yours and everybody <laughs> else's. Yeah. Uh, I still have it, which is nice. But, uh, <laughs> and uh, I wrote my very first book. It was not. It's called English, but it actually was about the, the, the you know, how it was for an Italian to be in London. Then I wrote the Italian in, in Italian in America, and I wrote books about how Italian write, how they speak English, how they travel, how they live in their families. And uh, another book that I'm very proud of is La Testa degli Italiani, translated into English with La Bella Figura, a field guide to the Italian mind or insider guide to the Italian mind. And uh, that was 2005, it's been translated into 14 languages and I'm really proud of that, of course. Uh, but then I decided that Berlusconi and Silvio Berlusconi is is a, is a phenomenon. It is a fact. It is a phenomenon. He, he, the, 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 ver, the word here is important. Uh, it's not molded, it's not crafted, it's not creative, but definitely he was a very important element of Italian life in the last eight <laughs> years. And if they go all the way with this, the current parliament is going to be 2013, so it will be 94, 2013, that makes 20 years. Uh, so I decided that that's the book I had to write. In 2008, I had stopped writing for The Economist. I would write only from time to time for foreign publications. Time magazine asked me to uh, write a piece. And they asked me the question, why? Why is the first story? You know, it's, uh, it, you see, I, I like this sort of why which is interesting. In Italy, it's never a why. It's a shout. Uh, yes, because the left doesn't want you to ask why. Because you only have to condemn him. You don't have to explain the man. You have to condemn him, let alone the right. The right doesn't want to, to, to you to talk about it. All you have to do is to, to clap your hand, to cheer him, to adore him. In fact, the approach of my foreign colleagues, of many young Italians, your age, then you sp then. <laughs> so the, the, the pretty things of the PDF just them to come in. And <laughs> so, uh, so I like that. Why? Uh, why the means? Why? How? How is that possible? Not a why that already includes as the answer. But why? Can you tell us why? Uh, so foreigners and younger people. Grown-ups Italian, people like me, there is no way I don't want to change their mind. Forget about it. So I was talking, and I wrote this piece for Time magazine. It was called Signor B, a Mr. B, or Signor B, an Italian mirror, uno specchio italiano. And then I said, well, that could be the beginning of a book. But 2008, 2009, and the book was not coming out. I thought there are too many books about Berlusconi. They don't sell well. People don't seem to be interested. Everybody. So I. I just decided that I was not ready. Then the London School of Economics, the Italian Society, asked me, why don't you come and you talk to us about polit politics in Italy? And then I, I, I said, I want to do it. You know, it's a university. I want to go there and don't do the Italian thing. You know, let's go and fare quattro chiacchiere. I want to, <laughs> I want to get ready and to do my homework. Believe it or not, we have papers and homework as well. Uh, homework. And so what I did, I sort of crafted in the in the last few, the, the, in the towards the end of January, 2010. I sat down one afternoon and I sort of wrote down my talk for the LSE. And uh, the talk, the idea was to try to find out the factors that explain Berlusconi's success. At the time, there were four or five. I don't remember. But I came here and said, look. I'm going to tell, tell you why five reasons, five factors why he succeeded and why he's successful. Uh, and uh, end of January 2010, end of October 2010, perfectly nine months after that, the baby's here. 